So let's go over this week's assignment, and it will be a basic form validation assignment. We've all filled out forms. We've all had um, the, the, the page indicate that we didn't do something correctly. So form validation is very important. And we have already looked in our book in Chapter 5 at the end where he does give a very nice um, complete form validation example. So there are different ways to go about it. And um, I would like you to go about it so that each field is individually validated. I don't want to see everything validated at once because that would be copying the uh, example from the book. So we're going to use the book as a guide and also some of the sample code and create your own form validation. I, you only need four text boxes and I do want the email, retype the email one. So not only are you validating that indeed something has been entered, but you're also validating that um, the two email addresses match. So when I click submit the form, I only want to see one email, uh, one error message. All right, so here, and we, we're giving focus to the first field here. Um, now, if I type in my name, and then I submit the form again, now I have another email message. In the event that I were to delete that, and I go back, there it is, it catches it. All right, so there's a couple things going on here. First of all, um, the, the form is, is reading from top to bottom. When it finds a mistake, I mean the script, when it finds a mistake, it will stop the form. And how that's done, that's done with this concept call, uh, of returning. We're, we are returning false. That stops the execution of the uh, function. So we give the user the error message. Then when we click on the um, button again, okay, if everything is right, it will then tell us when it finds the next error. Now notice that those error messages are all cleared out. So because we're not entering them all at once, um, we need to, every time we click the submit button, we need to clear out those error messages. And here we need to make sure that they uh, are, but notice, notice, make sure, please enter your email address, okay? Number one, it's not just that they match, we want to make sure that they're both there. All right. And I'll make that wrong. And now it says both email addresses must, must match. Now when I match them, and I'll just delete this one. There we are. Now we're back up here. And ultimately I have an alert set for the action of the form, and you can put a page. The book uses a page, and I'm just using an action of the form, an alert. All right, so let's take a look at the, the code on the left-hand side. All right, here's our input at the very bottom, input type equals submit. That's our button, what we're clicking, and this is type equals reset. So that's my clear the form over here on the left. That's a, a form element. That's no JavaScript. It's built in. All right, so here's my form. Okay, I have an ID. There's my action as a JavaScript alert just for testing. And I'm using method equals post. The book uses method equals get. So there's my label, all right, my first name, my text box, and here's my span for the error, all right. So there's my last name and my span for the error. Here's my email and my span for the error, etc. Now, um, I do have some samples. And let me get that sample out. I'll just use this. I do have some samples. Um, one sample where I'm validating two text boxes. So you can see the process with this return. All right, so here we're checking um, the first name. And, and I'm using variables to hold the value of the first name. So I have the first name, which is my object reference dot value, if it's equal to nothing. All right, um, and I'm going through the routine. Um, so if it is equal to nothing, I'm doing the error message. I'm setting focus to that element. And there's my return false. So I have my block 
my if block and my return false. And then here's the else. Or else everything is okay and I'm clearing out the error message. But I'm also clearing the error message out at the very, very beginning. Because if I don't, um, it's not going to, um, if I go back and forth, up and down. Because it won't catch, it won't clear it out on the bottom because it reads from top down. Alright, so here's my second if block. I'm checking the last name. Alright, if there's a problem, I return false. Else, then I clear the error message out if it had already been there. Ultimately, we have this return true at the bottom, which means that everything is filled in fine and the function uh, is called, and therefore it's finished and the action is called.